On my screen right now is a dashboard of one of our e-commerce clients, a client that has done close to $2.2 million in the last 90 days with Google Ads alone, spending just over 400K. And the significant portion of that revenue came from a single campaign type, dynamic search ads. In this video, we'll reveal the advanced strategies and tactics we use to run high performing dynamic search ad campaigns for brands like Icon Amsterdam, Ovi, One by Lamborghini, and other seven figure e-commerce businesses. Let's start by addressing a common question. Question. What exactly is dynamic search ads? Instead of targeting specific keywords like you would through standard search ads, DSA campaigns leverage the actual content on your website to generate highly relevant ads. Here's how it works. Google's algorithm crawls and analyzes the pages of your website. It understands the themes and products. Based on this analysis, Google can then automatically create ads tailored to match potential customers' search queries. One key advantage of DSA campaigns is their ability to expand your reach and capture search traffic that you you might have missed with traditional keyword targeting. DSA can actually help you discover new opportunities and reach audiences searching for products, even if you haven't explicitly targeted those keywords. Let's say if you run an online store selling premium skincare products with a traditional search campaign, you'd need to manually research and bid on keywords like anti-aging serum, vitamin C serum, or retinal cream. But with dynamic search ads, Google can automatically generate ads for relevant searches based on your product pages, blog posts, and other website content related to skincare. Care. This obviously means that your ads could appear for long tail searches like best serum for fine lines and wrinkles or natural retinal cream for sensitive skin. To maximize the effectiveness of your dynamic search ads, it's crucial to implement a strategic campaign structure. And that moves us on to point number two, campaign structure and targeting. When it comes to structuring your DSA campaigns, you have a couple of options to consider. One approach is to create specific ad groups within an existing campaign that also contains keyword targeted ad groups. And this allows you to run DSA say alongside your other keyword ad groups, providing sort of an additional layer of targeting and reach. Alternatively, you can actually create separate dedicated DSA campaigns. And this approach gives you sort of more control and just allows you to manage your DSA efforts independently from your other search campaigns. The choice between these two depends on your account setup, goals, KPIs, and obviously preferences. But at Echelon, we generally recommend creating specific targeted DSA campaigns. This allows for better management of your DSA efforts with a dedicated campaign, you can just closely monitor its performance and make targeted optimizations. Flipo is now going to demonstrate to you guys examples of how these two can both be effective. Here we have an account in which we have a search prospecting campaign that includes DSA. If you see here, we have multiple ad groups that are getting traffic and there is a specific column for you to see the ad group type. So you can see that most of them are standard. When it comes to standard ad groups, it means they're using keywords, select the landing page, you write your copy, etc. And then you have these dynamic ad groups. So these are the DSA ad groups that are powering up the campaign. As you can see, when it comes to the ROAS, they're actually scoring incredible results. Nine, seven, nine ROAS in the last 90 days. This is all non-branded traffic. So absolutely, they can complement and power up your keyword ad groups. One is that here, we can see a test between a DSA campaign and a keyword campaign. And we can see that, for example, in May, the DSA outperformed the keyword campaign. Same traffic in this case so they are actually competing let's say when it comes to search terms and in this particular case dsa won a big reason for that is that dsa can choose specific pages so can match perfectly search terms with the best pages so if sometimes you don't do a great choice of your landing pages when you use standard search campaigns dsa can avoid that mistake and bring you much better results even for similar search terms now let's dive into ad creation and optimization so most media buyers will tell you that dsa ad headlines are totally automated based on the search terms and website content, but that's only half the story. In reality, your headlines are directly pulled from your webpage meta titles. This means that the effectiveness of your DSA ads heavily relies on the quality and relevance of your meta titles. Whether that's from an advertorial, product page, collection page, whatever it is, your DSAs are generated from these. This is your point of control. Optimizing your meta titles is crucial just to ensuring that your DSA ads are compelling and just attract clicks. So what are some key criteria to assess meta titles? First of all, make sure they accurately describe the page content. So if the headline reads organic dog treats, but the page is all about catnip, you'll have some serious confused pet owners. Point number two, sprinkle in relevant keywords that match what your target audience was searching for. This helps Google understand when to trigger the ads for which type of search queries. And point three, keep it concise and compelling. You want your headlines to grab attention and convey value. And overall, you want them to be around 60 to 70 characters. You 
You can easily check your Meta title using free Chrome extension. So we personally use Meta SEO Inspector. I can give you a quick demonstration. So here we are on our page. You just go in the extension, you click on the extension. It will tell you exactly what is the Meta title. So basically this is going to be exactly the ad title. So the ad headline, if you run a DSA against this page. So while the headlines are dynamically generated, you have full control over the descriptions for the DSA ads. This presents an opportunity to customize your ad descriptions just to better resonate with your target audience. You can then highlight unique selling points, promotions, or key benefits relevant to the products or services featured on the corresponding web pages or landing pages or advertorials. And this is why in a lot of cases, we create dedicated DSA campaigns. This allows us to really segment these based on themes, product categories, or let's say user intent. You can then create more targeted and I'd say persuasive ad descriptions that really align with the specific needs and interests of your potential customers. When you're inside dynamic search ads ad group, that's what you're going to see. As you can see, Google is saying dynamically generated headline, dynamically generated display URL. And the only thing you can customize is your description, description one, description two. And never forget that when it comes to extensions, you have the same capabilities as you have in a normal standard ad group. So you can, and you should use site links, call outs, snippets, promo extension, anything that is relevant for your business can power up your DSA ad groups as it already happens with your keyword ad groups within search campaigns. So we've laid the groundwork by optimizing our DSA ads to just ensure they're as effective as possible. But how can we use this foundation for, let's say, more growth? One of our favorite advanced tactics for DSAs is seed mining. This is where you use your DSA campaigns as a research tool to uncover high performing search terms you actually might not have thought of on your own. You set up a broad DSA campaign targeting a wide range of relevant pages on your site. Let it run for let's say a few weeks to just gather that data on which search queries are triggering your ads and driving the most clicks and conversions. Then dive into your search term reports and sort of look for hidden gems, long tail keywords with high engagement that are not really actively targeting in your other campaign. Plug these terms into your standard search campaigns as an exact or phrase match keyword. Guaranteed, you'll see improved results. So here we see the DSA campaign is doing pretty well. So we go inside the reports and we have the search term report. You can see all the search terms that Google makes available. Google will always make available a portion of that. It could be 50%, 60%, 70%. But of course, that's going to be always a part that Google hides. But you can definitely make the most out of what Google shows you. So you can see exactly what people are looking for. And again, we didn't need to set up any of these keywords. So for example, here we can see they might be interested for the version for caravan or the version for cars. So this could give us good ideas to use these keywords in specific keyword ad groups. And we can tailor, of course, ad copy on that. But also when it comes to landing page creation, shopping title optimization. So once you understand, okay, many people are interested in that. Maybe it's not that clear in my current landing page, but I can serve that purpose. I can then adjust the overall content that I have again across landing pages, shopping titles, shopping descriptions. And in this way, I can power up my overall Google Ads results. Point number five, monitoring and optimization. So one of the unique advantages of DSA campaigns is the ability to just analyze search terms at a granular level. Unlike traditional sort of search campaigns where you can only see the keywords that triggered your ads, DSA campaigns tell you the exact headline and landing page that was served for each search term. So this level of detail, it just allows you to find sort of new opportunities to optimize for specific search terms in your most relevant landing pages. For example, if you notice that Google is heavily serving impressions for a certain page on your website through DSA, you can then take steps to optimize that page for better conversions. And this might involve some of the following. Rewrite the copy to align even better with the search intent. Optimize your headers and meta tags for the high performing keywords or streamline the call to action and page layout just to remove any of that possible friction when it comes to the conversion flow. Another optimization opportunity lies in controlling which pages on your website are actually eligible to be served through DSA. By default, Google will consider all the pages on your site for DSA targeting, but you can exclude or include specific pages based on their relevancy and performance. So for instance, you might want to exclude pages like about us or out of stock product pages or 404 
redirects or you just want to avoid sending traffic to sort of less valuable or irrelevant parts of your site. Here's an example of this. So here we have dynamic search out search terms and landing pages. So basically what's going to happen here is that as you can see for each search term, the system will tell me the exact headline that was shown by Google and the landing page that was selected for that specific search term. Also when it comes to coming up with different landing page ideas or specifications, if we have many searches for a specific flavor of keyword like here, the product specifically for Caravan, I might want to create a page that clearly talks about it that has Caravan in the title and eventually you can get to a result that you could see here. So by clearly optimizing the headline of your content of your pages, you can get to extraordinary results with DSA, even with blog pages that we discuss in plenty of our content, you can get very cheap traffic. Again, when you're providing a lot of value, Google will let you pay very little when it comes to your CPC and your ROAS can be unbelievable. DSAs can help you reach high value customers at the perfect moment, multiply your ROAS and scale your business. But as with any advanced Google ad strategy, the key is execution. It's not enough to just slap together a generic DSA campaign, kick your feet up, wait for sales to roll in. You need to be intentional about your campaign structure, meticulous about your ad creation and relentless about your optimizations. Most importantly, you need to continually test, learn and adapt to stay ahead of that curve. If you want to improve your Google Ads performance, be sure to subscribe to our free Google Ads newsletter where we share advanced tactics and resources to help you stay ahead of that curve that we don't share anywhere else. Just click the link in the description to sign up. With that being said, myself and Felipe, we appreciate you watching and we will see you in the next one. Ciao.